Being from Colorado, it goes without saying that I love being outdoors. I love hiking, I love the snow, the beach, and of course, like every true Colorado girl, I love camping. So when my roommate Shelby asked if I wanted to go camping in her Tesla, I said, hell yes, obviously. In today's video, I'm gonna show you what it was like when I drove a Tesla for the first time, what it was like when it drove me for the first time on its autopilot feature. <laughs> I'll show you just how cozy it can be to camp in it. So let's start on day one of the trip where I had to learn how to drive this spaceship of a car. I'm in the Tesla. I'm in the Model 3. Her name is Tessa. Thank you, roommate Shelby. This is gonna be such a fun trip, but I'm a little nervous to do autopilot or I have to go find a camping spot. I love camping. I've been trying to get my friends to come camping with me for so long, and this is just like a little mini taste of camping. So Let's drive, oh God. It feels like I'm driving a normal car. The only difference is the whole electric thing. Like when you pick your foot up off the gas, the car like slows down so much quicker than a regular car. It's 4.05 and I'm currently on the 4.05 in LA and it's a Friday. So you know, traffic's not the greatest, but this is apparently what these Teslas are made for. And you can like choose how closely you want to follow the car in front of you. So we're gonna do it right now. Oh my God, it's on. Oh my God, it's driving for me. Ah, this is wild. This is wild. Oh my God, it's gonna stop. This is crazy. My foot is off of the gas and I'm driving. Ah, for safety, you're supposed to keep your hands close to the wheel, which they are. Oh my God, okay. And it slows down for me. <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> Why are in all cars like this? Apply slight force to the steering wheel. See, okay, you can't just totally have your hands off of the wheel. Like, it, it, it asks you and it kind of makes sure that you're there for safety. That's really cool. Wow, I get the hype, I get the hype. I've been driving for like 30 minutes now and I'm already, I feel like, used to the car and self-driving. I wouldn't say it's for like every day, obviously, but like if you're sitting in traffic and it's just like the stop, go, stop, go, that's what I find this to be most helpful for. I'm going 60 miles an hour right now and I'm not driving the car and it's, it's doing a great job and I'm terrified, so my hands are on the wheel and my foot's ready to go at any moment, but like it's turning for me. It knows when people are like going in front of me. Okay, so now I'm gonna take driving mode off and take control. And you can just do that. Oh, crap, Shelby, now I want a Tesla. That little blue thing right there means that autopilot is on and it has these like sensors. It knows every, like it has like such spatial awareness that it knows every car, like the height of it. This is so freaking cool. I feel like I'm driving an iPhone. That's, that's what it feels like I'm doing right now in this car. We should have planned this out a little better because it is 4.30. We still gotta go to a supercharger and a Target to get like food and we don't have anyone there at the campsite. So I'm putting out all the good vibes that there'll be a campsite available and it's still gonna be a good night and we'll drink some fireball and play guitar and have a charcuterie board over the fire. Yeah, about that. So when we got to the supercharger to charge up for the night, I started to notice some clouds. Honestly, check out these clouds. Like they're looking pretty, pretty gorgeous. Please don't rain, oh God. A few moments later. The saddest of days. We have officially decided to not camp tonight because it's raining and it's gonna be raining at our campsite when we get there. Oh, I'm so sad. I just wanted to go camping. I've tried to go camping twice now in LA and it hasn't worked out. <laughs> So sadly, we decided to call it a night. We went to Cheesecake Factory for dinner and then headed home to try again tomorrow. Take two, it is Saturday. We are back on the road. It's gonna be a good day of camping. So we just got the supercharger. We got 30 minutes left and I'm gonna tune my guitar in the meantime. So yeah, guy next to me thinks I'm a weirdo, but hey, whatever, it's LA, right? Here's a clip of me playing guitar in the Tesla supercharging parking lot like a crazy person, singing Valerie by Amy Winehouse that I'm so sad I had to mute out for copyright reasons, but maybe I'll post it on Twitter or Instagram, so make sure you're following me there. And then the rest of the drive there was so pretty, I was loving it, and it was also kind of spooky with how foggy it was. We made it. We are at our camping spot. Finally, it's here. Time for some wine and cheese. All right, I think home base is officially set up for both Teslas. Let me, welcome to my crib for the night. Here's the look from behind. 
got some blankets. I literally brought my memory foam thing from my bed, covered it with a sheet, got a very soft fuzzy blanket, and then three pillows. Honestly, I'm pretty excited about this. Shelby's setting up her home base over there. It's looking pretty good. I am quite cozy to be totally real with you. Yay. <laughs> I am like legs go all the way down. Memory foam's pretty comfortable. And what's even cooler is the glass ceiling. I can look up at the stars all night long. I can't tell you how like at home I feel in like my hat, my bushy little coat. I have doubled up on socks and we're about to have a little happy hour in this eerie woods. No, no, that is not my camera being blurry. That's actually what it looks like. You know that scene? We are in a horror movie. You know that scene in Pirates of the Caribbean where they're like, like sailing through the mist? We are sailing through the mist right now, but in our Tesla's with champagne. <laughs> so we built a fire to keep us warm and celebrated our success with champagne and cheese. Cheers. Yay. Yay. We did it. We fucking did it. Yeah. <laughs> so I know that you can see our breath and that might make us look like crazy people, but it wasn't actually that cold when you were by the fire, which was nice. But then the night took a turn once the sun went down. It started to rain and now it's kind of starting to snow. It is um eight o'clock at night and we um are still of the belief that it will stop snowing and that we can turn the fire back on because that was what the weather said it was supposed to do. Ooh. Okay. It was a weird chip. It was like three chips in one. I couldn't I'm still even recording it. and that was really funny. Tesla camping, take two is still happening, technically. We ended up chilling in the car, listening to music and eating chips and salsa before we officially decided that the rain probably wasn't going to stop, so we should just go to bed. We woke up early and we started the fire again and had s'mores for breakfast because, duh, camping. Also, in case you're wondering, sleeping in the Tesla Model 3 was actually pretty comfortable. Huh. It's actually not bad. I gotta be honest with you, it's pretty comfortable. All I did was bring my memory foam topper, a sheet, all my pillows, and a ton of blankets, and it's pretty cozy in here. The all glass roof is pretty sick. They have this little ledge here, honestly, that was perfect. I had my phone propped up here. I could have my water bottle up there. It was great. It's pretty cozy. I'm pretty happy with it. Like honestly, no part of me was uncomfortable last night. I was cold, I will say, but I would also advise not to go camping when it's snowing out. Check that weather, unlike we did. <laughs> Being in nature and having a comfortable place to lie down is probably the best thing that I've done for myself in a long time. Tesla camping's pretty great. Not bad, I definitely see myself doing this again. <laughs> and then it was time to go home, but on the drive back, I wanted to try something. One thing that Shelby told me that she's been doing in her Model X has been letting the car drive on these windy mountain roads. In my mind, that scares me more than the highway because of how close cut these like teeny lanes are on the switchbacks down the mountain. I'm gonna try and do that now. I'm gonna do it on the turns, oh my God. <gasps> okay, it did it. It's weird, I was so trusting of it the first time that I did it. And then right now, I feel like in the mountains where it would be really helpful to have autopilot, I'm more afraid and I don't know why. Like right now, road is straight and I'm comfortable and I can like really take in the scenery, which I think is so cool. It's my favorite part of mountain driving. Oh, it's so pretty here. We went camping at Crystal Lake Campground. It is like about two hours north of Los Angeles in the Angeles Forest, and it's, it was so beautiful. And I cannot wait to come back, and this is just such a pretty drive. And I gotta say, I'm now a huge fan of the Tesla and its autopilot feature, especially for very, very important things like dancing and singing Taylor Swift at the top of my lungs while driving. But honestly, it was such a fun time. I'm so glad that Shelby had the idea to rent the Model X so that I could drive her Model 3 and we could try this out because I would definitely do this again. Also, now I want a Tesla. Crap. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. It's definitely a little different than the kinds of videos you've seen from me before, but that's what this year's all about. Coronavirus and trying new things. So stay safe, everyone out there. Make sure you're washing your hands. Don't hoard groceries. Be nice to people. And definitely check on your elderly neighbors and friends. Make sure they're doing okay. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you leave it a like. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye. Say bye, Harley. Say bye. Hates me. Hates me so much right now. Come here. <laughs> oh, oh God. Oh God. Ooh.